All right, what's going on, my people? It's your boy G Money Rob from the House of Pain. Yes, sir, the Compact Crew. Orale. This is uh, pretty much job walk uh, and task. Let you guys know how I'm rigged up and how I'm doing this. And uh, safety is always first, so we'll do a safety walk. Let you guys know I'm using my trailer just like a double reinforcement that the that the 1948 fleet line german helmet won't roll down so i got temporary bricks as wheel chocks and uh got a strap and then pretty much here's your master cylinder and this is what i changed uh fighting air on these old cars or any car seems like sometimes it's a headache so to be on the safe side I end up changing a wheel cylinder and also doing the master cylinder. Uh, the previous owner, you know, that I got her from, um, he pretty much did the brakes and uh, went through the system. So now it's my turn. And what I did with all these bolts and stuff, cleaned them up, put them on the vise, and um, just, you know, use the, 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 the wire brush uh, and uh, make them usable again. Kind of restore them. I got a bench bleeder kit right here. Uh, pretty much uh, gonna do that first. What else did I get? Oh, I got this one right here in case I need to use it from bleeding the back. If I feel it's not my type of bleed is not gonna do it, I'm gonna try that last. But definitely gonna bleed the the master cylinder itself. Uh, I end up using my trailer as a as a vice stand a bench i guess um here we go it, you know i i kind of looked at the 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 job task when i did it and it, it looked pretty simple but uh, it just looks simple but it's not so i'm ramped up I, I think plenty of work to uh space to work i end up rewiring some hard lines and uh well the jack went down i'm gonna go ahead and put the jack up I don't know if I left it down or not, but, you know, all reinforcement on this task is good. It gives me enough time either to get out of there or do something. But the better I'm rigged up and uh, keep this thing safer in the air, the better for me. So, we'll pick her up right now. Just to put some tension on the back. And then pretty much under here is going to go ahead and uh, be the the job. So I'm underneath somewhere around this frame area. I'll give you guys an update. Just put in some videos and some maybe some tips that are going to help you through this. Uh, it's always good to, to, to leave it bolted on before you try to break any other stuff. Because there's some few stuff like that brake arm. That you're gonna have to detach from I think that one is oh I'm not even gonna say I'm not underneath there but this is it and we're gonna see if we get a good bench bleed and then uh, installation for the nation and this is Esperanza so with her I'm gonna take my time I'm gonna get in here even with the 65 I've done the same it will give you you purchase these old cars and and you know they have a they have a story to them they have a soul you know she's a 1948 it's like a time machine going through this and uh, seeing this and being part of it and getting your hands underneath and seeing the difference between the cars of today and yesterday's cars and uh let me see what else I could tell you. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'll give you guys an update. Let you guys see. And uh, this is just a fun video. Stay, stay safe, my friends. Your boy Money Rob from the House of Pain.